Unit circle. How are special right triangles related? What is it? Unit circle is a circle with a radius of 1. Why? Helps to find different lengths and angles. Interesting fact. The chemical compound, which is used to make banana flavor, is the same compound honeybees use as an alarm pheromone. Now, let's talk about the unit circle. We could memorize this, but let's use what we already know. Let's talk about Soa Katoa. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and cosecant is the reciprocal. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and secant is the reciprocal. And finally, tangent is opposite over adjacent, and cotangent is the reciprocal. Let's look at the reciprocal identities to show you why that is the case. Cosecant is 1 over sine, secant is 1 over cosine, and cotangent is 1 over tangent. And remember, tangent is equal to sine over cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal. Before we go back to the unit circle, we need to talk about some special triangles. Do we remember what they are? That's correct. One of them is a 30-60-90 right triangle. We can create a 30-60-90 right triangle using another special triangle, the equilateral triangle. What do we think is another name for this triangle? That's correct, the equiangular or regular triangle. Let's make a 30-60-90 right triangle using the regular triangle that we have. Let's draw one line segment from one vertex to the opposite side. This means we have cut the angle and the side in half. What do we think is the third side length of each new triangle? That's correct, the square root of 3. Now we have our 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Using Sokotoa, we can find sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degrees. And sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2, cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2, and tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3. We can also find sine, cosine, and tangent of 60 degrees if need be. What do we think is another special triangle? That's correct the 45, 45, 90 right triangle, where sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, and tangent of 45 degrees is 1. Let's bring back our unit circle. Now we're going to use those two special triangles, the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and the 45, 45, 90 right triangle, to construct a unit circle. Let's zoom in on the first quadrant so we can see easier how to do it. Let's put the first special triangle on the unit circle. The hypotenuse, or the radius, is 1. The side length across from 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. And the side length across from 30 degrees is 1 over 2. And those side lengths lead to the point square root of 3 over 2, 1 over 2. Now, let's put the second special triangle on the unit circle. What do we think is the hypotenuse? That's correct. It is the radius, which is 1. And the side length across from the first 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2, as well as the other side length. And those side lengths lead to the point square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Now, let's put the last special triangle on the unit circle. What do we think is the hypotenuse? That's correct. It is still the radius, which is 1. And the side length across from 30 degrees is 1 over 2. And the side length across from 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. And those side lengths lead to the point 1 over 2, square root of 3 over 2. So we can use the special right triangles to construct the unit circle. We can continue to do it in the other quadrants as well. Let's use this power to answer some examples. Now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to discuss in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example 1. Now, let's read the steps. Step 1, separate the pi and the fraction. Step 2, where is the fraction relative to 0, pi, and 2 pi? Step 3, if it's more than 2 pi, reduce. Step 4, remember your special triangles. Now, let's read the question. Evaluate sine of pi over 3. We could use a unit circle as is to answer the question but most likely you won't have it. 
so let's take away the inside and leave the points for reference. Eventually, you'll be able to take away the points as well. Let's rewrite sine of pi over 3 as sine of 1 third times pi. Now, we can use the circle. Since 1 third pi is less than 1 pi, we know the angle is in the top half of the circle. So let's cut the circle in half. Now, let's cut the top half in thirds. Since half a circle is 180 degrees, we can divide that by 3 to find each central angle. In this case, each angle is 60 degrees. Let's draw the 30, 60, 90 right triangle so we can find sine of 60 degrees. Remember, the hypotenuse, which is the radius, is 1. And across from 30 degrees is 1 over 2. And across from 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. The triangle leads to the point 1 over 2 square root of 3 over 2. And sine is the y part of the ordered pair. But if we don't have the ordered pair, we can use Sokotoa. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so square root of 3 over 2 over 1, which is square root of 3 over 2. So sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. That is example 1. Let's move on to example 2. Now, let's read the question. Evaluate tan of 9 pi over 4. Let's rewrite tan of 9 pi over 4 as tan of 9 over 4 times pi. Whoa, wait a second. 9 pi over 4 is more than 2 pi. So let's subtract 2 pi from 9 fourths pi. First, we need a common denominator. So let's change 2 pi to 8 fourths pi. And 9 fourths pi minus 8 fourths pi is 1 fourth pi, or 1 fourth times pi. Now, we can rewrite tan of 9 pi over 4 as tan of 1 fourth times pi. Now we can use the circle. Since 1 fourth pi is less than 1 pi, we know the angle is in the top half of the circle. So let's cut the circle in half. Now, let's cut the top half in fourths. Since half a circle is 180 degrees, we can divide that by 4 to find each central angle. In this case, each angle is 45 degrees. Let's draw the 45, 45, 90 right triangle so we can find tan of 45 degrees. Remember, the hypotenuse, which is the radius, is 1. And across from 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. And across from the other 45 degrees is also square root of 2 over 2. The triangle leads to the point square root of 2 over 2 square root of 2 over 2. And tangent is the y part of the ordered pair over the x part of the ordered pair. But if we don't have the ordered pair, we can use Sokotoa. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2, which is square root of 2 over 2, which is 1. So, tangent of 9 pi over 4 is 1. That is example 2. Let's move on to example 3. Now, let's read the question. Evaluate cosine of 7 pi over 6. Let's rewrite cosine of 7 pi over 6 as cosine of 7, 6 times pi. Now, we can use the circle. Since 7, 6 pi is more than 1 pi, because we can rewrite 1 pi as 6, 6 pi, we know the angle is in the bottom half of the circle. So let's cut the circle in half. Now, let's cut the bottom half in 6. Since half a circle is 180 degrees, we can divide that by 6 to find each central angle. In this case, each angle is 30 degrees. Let's draw the 30, 60, 90 right triangle so we can find cosine of 30 degrees. Remember, the hypotenuse, which is the radius, is 1. And across from 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. And across from 30 degrees is 1 over 2. The triangle leads to the point negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 over 2. And cosine is the x part of the ordered pair. But if we don't have the ordered pair, we can use Sokotoa and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, square root of 3 over 2 over 1, which is square root of 3 over 2. Wait a second. We know the answer is negative square root of 3 over 2. Why is our answer square root of 3 over 2? Since we are dealing with distances, 
The answer we have is positive, but the triangle is in quadrant 3, which means we went left on the graph. So the x part of the ordered pair is negative. So cosine of 7 pi over 6 is negative square root of 3 over 2. That is example 3. Let's move on to example 4. Now, let's read the question. Evaluate secant of 2 pi over 3. So let's rewrite secant of 2 pi over 3 as secant of 2 thirds times pi. Now, we can use the circle. Since 2 thirds pi is less than 1 pi, we know the angle is in the top half of the circle. So let's cut the circle in half. Now, let's cut the top half in thirds. Since half a circle is 180 degrees, we can divide that by 3 to find each central angle. In this case, each angle is 60 degrees. Let's draw the 30, 60, 90 right triangle so we can find secant of 60 degrees. Remember, the hypotenuse, which is the radius, is 1. And across from 30 degrees is 1 over 2. And across from 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. The triangle leads to the point negative 1 over 2 square root of 3 over 2. And secant is the x part of the ordered pair. Remember, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So we would need to find the reciprocal of the x part of the ordered pair as well. But if we don't have the ordered pair, we can use Sokotoa. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Which means secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So 1 over 1 over 2, which is 2. Wait a second. We know the answer is negative 2. Why is our answer 2? Since we're dealing with distances, the answer we have is positive. So the triangle is in quadrant 2, which means we went left on the graph. So the x part of the ordered pair is negative. So secant of 2 pi over 3 is negative 2. That is example 4. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question. And I will show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. Did you get it correct? Superb. If not, there's always tomorrow.